going on anywhere near here. The atmosphere isn't festive at all. Shall we go ask the Doshin? Maybe they'll know something. Oh, do you need a hand with anything? What? A, a festival? I haven't heard anything about a festival coming up. Uh, could you be more specific? What festival are you talking about exactly? Almighty Arataki? It's the Almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong Festival, organized by the Arataki Gang. Ah, yes. The same Arataki Gang who made a scene at the Iridori Festival? So you're here for the unauthorized, unprofessional, and unofficial event, huh? What? No, no, no! It's not un anything! It's the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong Festival! Yeah, I gotcha. No need to keep rehashing the name. I think I know what this is about. Let me bring you up to speed. So we saw the members of the Arataki gang here a few days ago, and they were busy at work leaving piles of hideous things all over the place. Their leader claimed to be hosting a grand event big enough to rival the Iridori Festival. I think that must be the one you're talking about. I asked them a couple of questions, and it quickly became clear that they had no permit to host the event, no proof of venue hire, and, surprise, surprise, no record of having registered the event with the police station. If that isn't the definition of an unauthorized, unprofessional, and unofficial festival, I don't know what is. According to the rules, we had to force them to shut down the event. What? You shut it down? Let Paimon guess. Then you arrested them. Hmm? No, actually. Seeing that they had no prior experience organizing events and they'd at least gone to the trouble of preparing a safety plan, <sighs> we just gave them a warning. Safety plan? Huh. That's pretty responsible. Anyway, if you're looking for the Arataki game, you could try going to Amakane Island. Which is a venue designated by the Yashiro Commission for use in all kinds of festivals, big and small. It was established to try and encourage community cultural events. The application process is much simpler there and less expensive too. We told the Arataki gang about that. If they still want to host their event, that's going to be their best option. Uh, this whole thing is starting to sound like a non-starter. But since we've come this far, we might as well go and take a look at Amakani Island, right? How can I help? Ah, oh, yes. You must be here for the almighty Arataki Whatchamacallit Festival too. Yep. Madam Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission and Yuemiya of Nagonohara Fireworks have both been here so far. Yuemiya noticed them getting the venue ready when she was here to deliver some fireworks. I guess she got curious and went to go check it out. As to what Madame Kujo Sara was here for, I'm not quite sure. Oh, so other people got here before us? Oh, that's a good sign! <laughs> so, where's the Arataki gang now? Unfortunately, since there's no space available at any official venues at the moment, we had to allocate them to a tiny beach at the northwest part of the island. 
If only they'd applied earlier, we could have given them a better location. Head northwest. You'll see them. Compadres, you finally made it! I was just wondering when you'd be showing up. Next thing I know, boom, there you are! <laughs> oh boy, am I happy to see you. Look at this venue. What do you think? Is this a prime location or what? <sighs> it's surrounded by sea, the air is as fresh as it gets, there's no noise pollution from the city, and the views are simply spectacular. <sighs> The venue is situated against the backdrop of Amakane Island, where you can enjoy exclusive access to the festival and culture center's first-rate equipment. With excellent transport links by sea and land, getting where you need to be is highly convenient, whether you're traveling by foot or by boat. The moment I set eyes on this venue, I knew this was the one. It was the moment that changed the world. Give it up for the boss! Clearly you're only here because the Tenryo Commission sent you away. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, let's get down to business. I invited you all here to attend the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. A highly important festival, I might add. Yeah, boss said the first goal of the festival is to promote the Arataki Gang and recruit new members. Secondly, it's to celebrate Shinobu's graduation. And last but not least, it makes up for all the previous team building events that were canceled due to insufficient funding. Three festivals in one? Wow. Akira, uh, we can leave that last point out from now on. The thing with festivals is you gotta get out there and promote them far and wide if you want to get a good crowd. So, uh, Shinobu's handing out flyers. Hey! Shinobu's supposed to be the star of the show, isn't she? How come she's out there working her butt off while you're hanging around here doing nothing? Hey, I'm hard at work too. I I'm... I I'm... I'm entertaining guests. Boss actually just got back. He said he was expecting you to arrive any second, so he came back specially to welcome you. Until then, he was out there with Shinobu, working hard to bring more people to the festival. Well, uh, just, ah, uh, just doing my duty. Nothing more, nothing less. Wow, this bull checker actually did some serious work for once. Huh, I'm unpleasantly surprised. Hmm, trust a puny little flying lavender melon to stoop to the level of childish name calling. Anyway, so, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Ah, oh, you mean that stupid Tengu? Yeah, I hesitated, but, uh, I sent her an invitation. I cannot believe how ungrateful she is. Get this, she came all the way out here just to put up a bulletin board and write a load of baloney on it claiming that visitors need to be cautioned. She even warned us not to change it. It's blatant bullying of the gang, that's what it is. One day, I'm gonna defeat that Tengu fair and square in broad daylight in the middle of the street. She'll get what's coming to her. Anyway, so, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? The owner of Naganohara Fireworks? Chatting with her is a real blast. <laughs> <clears throat> she only found out about our festival because she happened to be delivering some fireworks to Amakane Island. 
She really liked what we were trying to do here and came to pass on her best wishes. She even said she'll provide some fireworks for us next time. Looks like the Arataki gang should make sure to keep good ties with Naganohara fireworks in the future. Anyway, so, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? <laughs> A ton of totally awesome stuff! See that hill over there? That's Sing Along Hill. Stand at the top, look out over the sea, and sing your heart out! And this bonfire? It's perfect for roasting lavender melons, the regular kind, or the ones of the annoying little floating variety. And these boxes! Plenty of space whether you want to play Genius Invocation TCG or Battle Some Beetles. Wow, you really pulled out all the stops. But of course, the highlight of this festival is the drum along. Here, feast your eyes on this. Just between you and me, this little treasure was sourced through a top secret channel. They said it's a prized hand drum that once belonged to a renowned Onmyoji, and it's worth eight million mora. Thanks to my strapping good looks, and the fact that the vendor and I kinda had a, uh, connection. Her words, not mine. She gave me a generous discount, and only asked for 800,000 mora. She went from eight million to 800,000 just like that? Uh, sounds suspiciously like a scam to Paimon. Duh. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book, right? Which is why it didn't work on me. I spotted the damage on the edge right away. Practically screamed, DEFECTIVE PRODUCT ALERT! <laughs> Ooh, we have a connection. Give me a break. So I haggled hard and took her down to 80 Gs. <laughs> Practically a steal. Daylight robbery. Still, it's pretty impressive that you could actually afford something worth 80,000 mora. Good for you, bull checker. <laughs> it's only 80,000 mora. What do you take me for? I put in 20 grand. Me too. Huh? Boss, how come I had to pay 30 grand? 20 grand plus 20 grand plus 30 grand. Uh, uh, you really are a bull checker! You extorted 80 grand from your gang members and didn't pay a single more on yourself! Uh, <laughs> you might want to check your mathematics there. I paid my share, you know. I paid the last 10 grand. Alright, good chat, but uh, we should wrap things up. It's getting late. I should go rendezvous with Shinobu. The festival's just getting started. We need to keep plugging it to get a bigger crowd. Take care of the hand drum, all right? Oh, and if you want to try out the drum along at any point, Genta's your guy. Laters, compadre.